I struggled with the thumbnail uh, for this video as to who those three names I was going to put up there next to Emily's. Because I know you recognize three of them, but you don't know who Emily is unless you watched my video yesterday where I shared with you her TED Talk, where she explained how the world is going to change and how we could potentially save the, the world and save your life uh, by using synthetic biology, in specific by um, creating DNA that could then be used to correct the problems that we have on, on our Earth today, and that's global warming and, and basically the efforts of the civilization to destroy what we have to work with. I, she made a statement that I thought was kind of profound, and she says, reach out and touch anything that you want, and it came from the ground. That's plastic. It's it's a mouse. It came from the ground uh, uh, in the form of oil. That's wood and 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 lead uh, came from the ground and and, the, and the, that's rubber. It came from the ground. And as we we as human beings discovered that we could make our lives better by taking from the ground and turning in uh, metal objects or wood or plastic or 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 fertilizer or whatever, we could improve our lives. But as we did that. We started uh, destroying our planet, and that's why I have chosen Emily as probably one of the four most important people in our current world and, and are going to take us into the future of the world. For surely, um, um, Bill Gates's name needs to be there because he brought computing to my desktop and, and, and took us into computing. Uh, Elon is, is, is taking us into a whole new realm of, of the Neuralink to going to Mars and then and then the electric vehicle, which is going to change our world dramatically. And then Jensen, what he's doing with compute is just really crazy. But I got into this element of synthetic biology. Uh, at the first, it, it was this book, Lifespan, by David Sinclair. He's a Harvard PhD, and he explained to me that by um, working with yeast, you could, you could break down the molecular structure of our bodies and, and, and study our DNA, which would take us to our genome, and you could potentially extend life. Uh, in here, he, he mentioned that it would not be beyond the possibility for a human being to live to be 150 years old. He's the guy who put me on to NMN, which I, I basically take every Every day, this is. I now have to buy it out of the Netherlands, um, and this is the company that I, that I buy it from. And and it 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 changed the energy level that I have in my body. I'm about to turn 80 in September, so that changed my world. From from there, um, I, I went down the path that was very important to me, which is represented by that that bicycle jersey. Because my daughter died of cancer, my mother died of cancer, my father died of cancer, my brother died of cancer. Cancer became very important to me. And the only way I could see that we could find our way through that was through genome sequencing and genome editing and being able to go into the body and take that that cancer out of the body. But I learned the hard way um, and, and lo cost me a lot of money by my investments into things like Editus and, and Caribou. And, and, but I learned a lot about what genome is all about and what DNA is all about and how it works in our system. As I said, it cost me a lot of money. And then I I more recently learned about synthetic biology. And I learned that through synthetic biology, you're you're looking at the map of life and and the map of everything that's on 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 this earth. And so, what I learned is I have DNA, um, oil has DNA, cows have DNA, plastic has DNA, and if you can understand the DNA, uh, you you can duplicate it in another form. In other words, I could take and understand the DNA of, of this mouse, this plastic mouse, and I could then fabricate that DNA without that and, and create that plastic without oil. One, and, and, and if I can do that, I don't then pollute the planet 
with the oil. In the TED talk I shared with you yesterday, she used the example that insulin is now used to come from the uh, pancreas of cows and pigs. And in order to get it, you have to kill the cow. First, you got to raise the cow. Then you got to kill the cow. And in, in doing that, you create a lot of waste and you create a lot of gases that harm our society. But now you can take a Colby steak and take the DNA of it and then reproduce it without the cow being involved and and you you don't have the waste involved. You can do that with oil. You can do that with natural gas. Natural gas is a, a major contributor to fertilizer. Fertilizer goes into our soil, uh, pollutes our soil, pollutes our plants, but makes them more edible. Um, but now we can do that through DNA. So what TWIST does, and that's who Emily found it, is TWIST, is uses synthetic bi biology to create DNA and then sells it to people who want to use that to make new products, to get rid of the products that are uh, polluting our world and causing our global warming so that we all might live longer and might live to see uh, 150 years of age. So that's what I learned. And then as I, I looked at that and I said, if I combine that knowledge with um, Jensen's supercomputers that gather all the knowledge of the world. And if Jensen and Emily get together, this is going to change the world I live in dramatically. Uh, and maybe I will live to see um, the cure for cancer. And because the cancer will be taken out of my body and will understand how it happens. So what does Twist do? They basically sell DNA, fabricated synthetic DNA. They ship it to uh, a laboratory uh, Regeneron, uh, who has Eli, who has um, Jensen's GPUs, and they analyze um, a a drug um, or a disease, and then they duplicate the with with Emily's DNA, and and reproduce what is needed to take cancer out of my body to create plastics without using oil. At one point, she shows me corn back before it was manipulated through DNA to something that we can eat. And it was done by the use of fertilizer that comes from natural gas, which then pollutes our soil to get that corn. Well, by manipulating the DNA, we can skip all that process of polluting the soil and putting gases into the sky and screwing up our world. So with that in mind, I think you and I need to learn more about twist. I think I need to reread um, the Genesis machine. I need to understand the, the, the concept of putting data on DNA within a chip and having it taking all the, what was it they said, taking all the data that we've accumulated over the last eons and it consumes all this compute and putting it into a gallon bucket. Yeah, it, this is beyond my comprehension. But I am smart enough to know when I see something that's going to change my world. Uh, as I said in the other video, I, I learned about this and I learned about Twist about a year ago when it was selling for, um, I think it was $13.90 a share. It's now up to $40. Um, it, it went up 25% last Friday. Um, this is something that you and I need to, to learn about. And I'm going to ask your assistance. I'm going to ask you learn as much as you can about Twist and come and share it with me. Come to my, my Friday Stock Talks and, and, and share your knowledge with me so that we can, we can identify a company that is going to change the world. And I know there's some of you who think this is a moonshot. This is not going to happen. This is going to happen. And whether you participate in it or not is really up to you. Is it like... Is it the same trap I fell into with um, Editus and Caribou and, 
and um, CRISPR that there are there are reasons that it won't happen because we don't know the unintended consequences. That is certainly true when you have to get past the um, Food and Drug Administration. But it may not necessarily be true when you have when you intend to replace oil with something that is fermented and doesn't create the pollution that oil, natural gas, and all of the stuff that we take out of the ground. If you, and if you think about it, we're taking aluminum out of the ground. Um, we're even taking diamonds. It's all relative to decay of what was on this earth before. And every element, whether it's aluminum, steel, um, cows, pigs, corn, they all have DNA. And if you can synthesize that DNA and duplicate that DNA without creating the carbon waste that the decay and the, 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 the animal waste that they leave, if you can eliminate that, you can perpetuate the survival of the earth. And Emily has brought this to my attention. And I'm hoping to bring it to your attention and to enlighten you and maybe inspire you to say, this is something I need to learn more about. And maybe you're young enough to say, this is something I want to pursue. And I'm going to go read the Genesis machine. And I'm going to learn what Emily is doing. And maybe that's the career I want to have. And, and I want to save the earth. And I hope I can deliver that message to you because I don't think you've heard anything about this up until the last two videos I've made. Read this book. There's a link to it in the description and, and you can get it from Amazon. I get it on, um, on my uh, Audible. What I do is I will replug Genesis machine. I'll take my three mile walk. I'll listen to it and then I'll come back and reread it. And I'll be smarter than you. What I've recognized in my life, I recognized this really when my son was running cross country in junior high school. 200 kids came out for the cross country team in, in ninth grade. I mean, it was boys and girls, whatever. By the time he graduated, a senior at Mountain Brook High School, there were four of them left in it. That's the whole world. Yesterday, I watched the Kentucky Derby, and they told me that, that um, and the Kentucky Derby is run by three-year-old horses, and that 2,600 of them are born each year, and these are thoroughbreds, and that 20 of them make it to the Kentucky Derby, and one of them wins. Almost three of them won yesterday. But that's, that's the world we live in. 90, uh, 100% start, 95% quit, and 0.01 win. And the winners are those who say, I want to learn more about that. I want to be the smartest guy about that. I want to read these books that Carrie's read, and I want to educate myself. And that's what I want to dedicate my life to something beyond making money, something that will change the world. And these people are changing the world. Emily, Elon, Jensen, and Bill. They're, they're the point oh one. They didn't quit, and they stayed with it and made a difference. You can do that same thing. There's only one person holding you back from putting your name on that list. He lives up here. And, and, and right now, I call him your unwanted roommate. That's the person right now that is saying to you, I can't do that. Carrie's full of shit. I can't achieve that. I'm not smart enough to do that. Hell yes, you are. Get rid of that unwanted roommate. If you don't know how to do it, read my book, Find Happiness by discovering who you are and why you are you. It comes down to 15 day, or 10 days in the first 14 years of your life. 10 days determined who you are and why you are the way you are. And if you can understand that, you can manage it. 
And now you can be whatever you can imagine you can be. Whatever you believe you can be. Get rid of that roommate. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor. I'm trying to build a tribe. I'm trying to build a people that a group of people that have the passion I have for success, for my success, for your success, who get rid of that roommate and say, bullshit, I can do whatever I set my mind to do. I'll talk to you more about this, I'm sure, in the future.